Today I'm going to show you how you can save your form document as a Word template so that each time your users open that template and fill in the form, they'll be filling out a blank form. Be sure and check out my playlist on my channel on creating fillable forms. All right, in this example, we're using a shipping request form. And let's just say that this form needs to be filled in with every package that needs to go out. So it's possible that this form would need to be filled in multiple times throughout the day. The reason you don't wanna have your user simply override all the fields every time that they fill in a new form is because they may forget a, a certain field or a place of information, and then you're gonna have inaccurate information on that form. So the best practice way to mitigate this is to save your document as a template. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is start with a blank document. So we are going to start with our fresh blank document and this is a form that we've built with legacy tool form fields and we go up to our developer tab. If you don't have your developer tab enabled, check out this quick video on my website on how to enable the developer tab in Microsoft Word. We have already restricted editing on our form, so it's ready to go. Um, if you needed to stop protection, you could do that, but we have already restricted that so that this is a live active form ready for your users to fill in. So once we've done that, what we wanna do is actually save it as a Word template file type. So we're gonna come up to File and click Save As. And I'm gonna save this on my desktop. And we're gonna say, we're gonna name it. And instead of saving it as a .docx, a normal document, we are going to drop down and save this as a Word template, a .dotx file type. Remember, if you have macros in your form, you're gonna to wanna to save it as a .dotm file type. All right, we'll do that and click Save. Now you've saved your form as a Word template. And so if you close out, we're gonna go ahead and close out of our form. And we're gonna come and open up our form template. And this is what we're gonna actually send our users to fill in. And it looks like a blank form. We're gonna fill it in with information. And when we go to save it, as a user goes to save, we can save a copy. And if we save it on our desktop, you'll notice that it's not gonna save it as a template. It'll save it as a Word document so that your user could save if they needed, had a need to save each document template, they could, they could just save it as a normal document and it would save the filled in information. Um, so they're able to do that. Then what we wanna do is we'll just say test and save and save. Now, what you wanna do is give them instructions so that when they want to fill that form in again, all they have to do is come to File, Open, and select the form template. And you'll notice that the fields are reset and ready for them to fill in, and they will have a blank document so that they won't have to worry about leaving data on the form that may be inaccurate or incomplete. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. And if you have any comments or tips, be sure and leave them in the comment section below this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.